Here comes lucky number seven. Well, there it is. That's the seventh one of those I have. Got them in purple and got them in that blue. I think I have four purples and three blues. So it's a nice, pleasant, windy evening tonight, so there's gonna be a lot of wind noise. So, haven't touched this thing. It's a curb fine from a few doors down that way. Cord looks pretty good. I'm not seeing anything that's terrible just yet. I do have one with a cut cord. Uh, I do see a nick right here. That's easily fixable. That, that won't be a problem at all. If that's as bad as the cord got, that's nothing. So I don't think somebody threw this out because the cord went bad. So the cord, except for that, is just fine. Uh, of course, all the tools are gone. That seems like the first thing that people do. They go and they throw the tools out. Uh, let's see. Let me show you. Oh, well, I can show you this. The handle. Yep, there's supposed to be a screw here and a screw here, and the screws are gone. But moreover, it looks like they were never screwed in. Usually they leave like a bit of a mark, and I am not... I'm not seeing any mark at all. So, <laughs> you just take that right off. Well, that makes it shorter. And this is, uh, this is in good shape. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, this is ugh. Now, I've picked stuff up from this house before, and I swear they pick up, well, they pick up stuff they shouldn't pick up. But I almost wonder if this is, uh, well, some of it was wet and might still be wet. I don't know if some of it could be feces or what. I'm, I'm really not too sure, but it's not anything good. If I do a close-up here, the nozzle, I've seen that before. And if you look back in my other videos of the other six, I think you're going to see that too. Let's see what the underneath is like. Brush roll spins, yeah. It feels like it's connected to a belt. That feels beltish to me. Um, all the parts appear to be there. And let's see, here's the sticker. And it seems to indicate a 2020 model. Yeah, 2191. So pedals look pretty good. I think that's bad. Um, well, let's see what it does. Oh, I know. So, obviously this isn't full. What's the filter like? Oh. Yeah. I think we got a problem there. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's pretty chunky. I've seen worse, though. Let's see. Yeah, I've, I've seen worse. Hmm. Okay, tell you what, how about I vacuum that off? And as they used to say when I was a kid, nothing sucks like an Electrolux. I was debating whether or not to, to actually blow this off, and I'm glad I'm doing this because it's um well it's chunky, definitely chunky. I got a better angle here.
wonder if the hose is clogged. What do you think? So that came pretty clean. Incidentally, for those of you who are new to my channel, I have had this Electrolux. Well, it's been in my family since we got it brand new in 1980. It's the Olympia One model. I did a refurb on it a while back. And it's just going to go and go and go forever. Because they really built them well back then. That's doing a pretty good job. All right. Nice thing is with this model, you have a blower if you need it. A lot of vacuums don't have blowers anymore these days. Okay, that looks good enough. And I bet you that made a difference because that was pretty chunky. I'll put that back in. Let's uh, let's run it. Pretty sure that's going to be off. Pretty sure. Let's see what happens. Of course, they yank the plug out of the wall. I get, I get this a lot. This is, that's an easy thing to fix. See, it's a little bent there. The one on the right. That's easy to fix, though. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's see what happens. I'll back up a little bit. Okay, testing, testing. Well, gee, they didn't do anything weird. Everything appears to be fine. It's a little smelly, but not as bad as what I thought. Motor seems okay. Let's see. Uh, do we have any, any flow here at all? Yeah. You can see the see the dirt hopping in there. Okay. So at this point, I am guessing they threw it out. Maybe because it smells a little bit, but because of that filter. I'm sure that would have made quite a bit of difference in you know in airflow. But uh, geez. Let's see what the dirt dump's like. It's kind of stuck. It's, oh, it's wet. It's wet. Get that out of the way. We certainly have lots of debris, I'll give you that. And, and it's, it's kind of muddy too. I don't know how well you can see the dump there, but yeah, here's a close up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's wet and muddy, but this will come clean. I mean, really, it will. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blow this out. Let's see, I'm gonna reach in here. Whoa. Get the cyclone out. This, this isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. Okay, I'll put this in the pile and I'll show you, I'll show you the dirt. It's, um, it's definitely, it's definitely wet, to be sure. I mean, it's it's certainly, yeah, it's it's wet. I mean, it's still wet. I've had this for a few days, but otherwise, I just don't think it's that big of a deal. I bet you there's some goo in the tube, but when we go put this in the tub, everything's going to be fine because it's just it's just not in that bad of shape. But let's uh, let's finish the tear down anyway because. I wanted to see if this would work, and of course, 
If it did, I wanted to put everything in my wash basket over there, put it in the tub, as per, per usual. I am just not seeing a lot of bad stuff here. Yeah. I'm not going to pick that up with the Electrolux. I know. I'm going to pick it up with my hands. Ooh. Yeah. It's, it's wet and it's gooey, to be sure. So, for those of you who are grossed out, I wipe my hands on the grass. Oh boy. Alright, let's see how bad the hose is. Well. We can hear that or not. Yeah. It's more or less okay. I'm sure there's going to be goo that's going to be coming out of it. Well, this was kind of unexciting. Oh well. I was planning for something kind of cool, but this is just going to come apart and clean up real nice. All right, let's get the rest of it. Let's get the rest of it apart. I think you can see okay and I've done so many of these if you want to see more just take a look at the playlist for these missiles I bet it'll clean up pretty well Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Let's see, this one's got a screw here in the back. And all that comes out. This should pop off. Get these side pieces out. And that's it. Yeah. This is so common. I don't know why people constantly vacuum up water. I mean, we got rust there. You know, I can say that none of my vacuums I've ever had that I've worked on, I mean, my own personal ones over the years, I mean, I don't use them to vacuum up water, but they did. are pretty simple. That's why this is cheap. Yeah. Evidence of dampness. Okay, brush roll and belt. Let me come around here. The brush roll. That's perfect. Uh, no, it's not clean. I mean the bearings. I'm testing the bearings. There's a, there's no evidence of any bearing wear at all. This is, I mean, flawless. Needs to be cleaned up, but it's flawless. The belt, I have a bunch of these. There, there's a number on the belt. You wanted to know. There you are. I get them in like a, well, I think last time I bought them, I got them in a six-pack. 
or I don't know, a buck a piece on eBay. That's where I get everything. I get asked all the time, where do I buy my stuff? Like it's some kind of mystery. And I just buy everything on eBay. Yeah, this looks fine. Dirty, but it's okay. Uh, let's see here. Take a look at that before I disassemble it. You got a couple of screws to take off. Yeah. I don't know why people do that, but you know, I, whatever. Then I get them, I make a video, and then I make money off of it. So keep abusing your stuff. A couple of short screws there. snapped in. I can't remember now. Yep, there we go. Right. Snapped in. Let's see, let's come on. Okay, good. Yeah, hey, I don't even have to separate the tube. The tube's got some goo into the course. There's that. That's fine. And got some screws here. Let's see. What do I want to do about this? I don't think I need to necessarily put this in the tub, but you know what I, I do want to do? There's little worthless um, post-motor felt pads. There's one here and, and one here. And I think I'll probably just take this off and get the pads out. I don't think I need to disassemble the motor because that motor sounds great. I can clean that up a little bit. That's about it. much dirt you'll see in the tub water. I bet there'll be a little bit. And I use Persil. And it does such a great job. It doesn't hurt anything. You can soak stuff overnight, rinse it off. Great long lasting smell. It also disinfects. So it does, does a wonderful job. go. That's a way to get it out. <laughs> Time to take a look at the motor. And yeah, it's fine. There's just, there's nothing wrong with it at all. I'll do, show you a close-up here in a minute. It's a little 8 amper and for this little light vacuum, it's all you really need. These things have performance that's really pretty incredible, all things considered. All right. Here's the motor and the commutator. Let's see how close can I get that? Put that in there. See that? I could polish that a little bit won't make that much of a difference but it's fine it spins I mean honestly about like new yeah, slightly different view got a little rubber seal right here I've uh, taken these motors apart too they're fine you can replace the bearings most people don't want to bother because the whole vacuum is just too cheap to mess with 
And we will reconvene in the tub. Here we are, the tub. And I just got a call from Joe and Jay Wheeler. It's so wonderful to be able to talk with other YouTubers about similar stuff. So remember, share your stuff and hey, talk with your friends. You can share your stuff. So let's get going with this Bissell here. This is what I normally use. So let's see how bad some of this stuff is.